Hello everyone, today we're working on a 1992 Mac DM690 and we're going to be changing the driveline fluid, the transmission, the front and rear differentials. I'm going to show you where the drain points are on all those and where the fill points are. And also the oil we'll be using will be the Amsoil Severe Gear 75W90. Uh, it has excellent cold flow down to 40 below zero and it resists the thermal runaway like no other. So it protects you in the high temps. So this is the oil we'll be using. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, this morning is January 31st of 2019. We're at 29 degrees below zero here. I've had this, uh, this uh, gear demonstrator for the oils. And I've had this outside overnight, uh, all night. I've got two different oils in here. i got a petroleum base John Deere EW90, and i got the Amsoil 75W90 Severe Gear. And I'm going to show you the difference here. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it better. But uh, we'll try that Amsoil first and see how that works. It turns over pretty nice. You can see it flowing, and here's the uh, John Deere stuff. It's pretty doggone thick. I can still move it, but I gotta crank hard, hard to get it to move. And that's due to the paraffin wax that's in it. Like I say, you can see there's a heck of a difference there in, in how it flows. But man, this one's hard to move. But that gives you some idea on the cold flow. Like I say, we're about 29 below zero right now, and I've had about enough. Let's head back in. Okay, we're coming to the transmission. This is a T2080 transmission. And uh, we got live hydraulics on this, so we got a PTO. There's a drain plug right here. That's where you're gonna drain it at. And then if you got the PTO, the PTO is uh, going to leave probably a good quarter better of fluid in it um, once you drain out that tranny. So what I do is that bottom bolt on the PTO, I take that loose, it's a 3 8 bolt. And uh, take it loose, and that'll drain out what's left in that uh, in that uh, PTO, and get that out of there. And then uh, retorque that to 35 to 40 foot pounds. It's got a copper washer on it, and that's what seals that up. Okay, so when you go to fill it back up, there's actually, if you look on the side of the transmission here, there's there's three different plugs. There's one right there in front of the PTO, and I'm going to try and zoom out of this here a little bit. There we go. There. There's actually three plugs that you see there. The one right here in, by the PTO, that's for your temperature sender if you have one for transmission temperature. And then there's an upper plug, and that upper plug has a, uh, a magnet on it. And it's actually a trough in there that uh, takes the oil uh, and directs it to the bearings. And then the fill port is right here. So the big one is going to be your fill port. You fill it up until it just comes out of there. So that gives you some idea um, on that, how to drain it, and uh, where the fill points are in that T2080 MAC transmission. So we'll go to the rear differentials next. Okay, we're coming in on the front set of drive axles. And there's actually three drain plugs you're concerned with. There's one right here. And that uh, is the power divider. And that power divider splits the power between the two differentials. Okay, so that's going to be your drain plug and right above it is the fill plug for that uh, port. Now there's also on the main uh, on the main differential down here at the bottom there's a drain as well. Okay and then if we go to the back side and right here is a drain for this box right up here. Now they all share the oil but uh, the way this is set up, and if you look here on the side where my finger's at, there's a fill plug there as well. So when you drain that main housing down here in the bottom, you're draining out what's in this, in this uh, sump right here. But in order to drain out these other boxes, you've got to take these drains out because they'll hold probably a quart to a quart and a half each, just depending on uh, the size of it. But uh, in order to get all that oil out, you've got to, uh, you've got to drain it back here on this drain plug here and also on that power divider up here. So you take those three out and that'll drain all the fluid out. Okay, and then when you go back to fill, you'll put those drain plugs all back in and you can fill these uh, in whatever order you'd like. But uh, this here up on top, this is your fill plug for that power divider. And again, that's going to take probably around a quart, maybe a quart and a half. And then uh, when you go to fill, the main one. Let's see if I can get a little light back here. 
you go to fill the main one, you're going to have your drain plug in the bottom. And right here is where you're going to fill it up till it comes out of there. And then also, for the uh, top there for that reduction, you're going to have this fill plug in, or this uh, drain plug is going to be put back in, and this fill plug over here will be taken out, and you fill it up until it comes out of there. And that'll fill them all up, because if you only fill the bottom one here, your uh, splash lubrication is going to get caught up in these cavities, but then your main box will be low down here. So when you go to fill them, make sure all three of those are full. So that's that's the front power power divider and, and differential. Now let's go to the back one. Okay, this rear differential is very similar to the front one. To drain out the main housing, you're down here, there's a drain plug. When you refill it, you fill it till it comes out of this one right here in the middle in the back. And then on the uh, double reduction up here, we've got uh, this cavity or this plug right here drains the top cavity. And then over here on the side, see if I can get my fingers on it, there's a square headed plug right there and that's where you're going to fill it. So uh, when you go back to, uh, when you get it all drained, put in your drain plugs and then fill up this top cavity till it comes out of there. And then come down and fill the main cavity until it comes out right here. And then that's it. So that gives you some idea on these uh, Mac double reductions how to do that. Okay, there's one other thing that I wanted to bring up here when you do these differentials. There's a vent on each one of those top, the differential, um, the front one, the front driver on this one, this is what it looked like. And the original uh, Mac vent actually has a filter, a screen in there, and also some filter material. And uh, this is a new one to replace it. And if you look inside, I don't know if you can see inside, but there's there's kind of a screen in there with some, some uh, filter media. But uh, there's that type, and then there's uh, these here are a cheaper type that you'll find on some of the semis. This one has no filter in it at all, and the top is just spring-loaded and uh, just allows air in and out of that axle. As the uh, oil expands, it allows air out, and when it cools down, it allows air back in. So when you go back in, go back with the original. It's got a filter in it that helps keep the, uh, everything cleaner. So that's just a, another heads up on that. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Don's Oil. I'd like to introduce you to Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants. We have the most complete line of synthetic lubricants on the market that offer you greatly reduced wear, extended drain intervals, longer equipment life. You can check that out at my website, donsoil.com. I also have a website for looking up fluid capacities. It's fluidcapacity.com. You can go there and print off the capacity of your engine oil cooling system transmission, transfer case differentials. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Don Synthetic Lubes. Thank you and have a great day.